Now we're gonna now we're gonna actually do some Reiki. Intro comes with it. <laughs> this is the light switch. This is the main symbol of Reiki, and it's the one that I use every day. Um, it's three moves, and let's draw it together. It goes like this. It goes one, two, and then the third part is a spiral down. It's 3D. Okay, so I like to say the words. It's called the Choku Rei. And I like to say the words when I'm doing it. It goes Choku Rei. And the spiral goes down in. So if I was going to heal my knee with my hand, I would imagine the Choku Rei on top of my hand and then the spiral going down through my hand into my knee. It's a symbol that connects two things together. Generally your hand and the part that needs to be healed. So what's going on here? Is this mumbo jumbo or what? I don't know. Reiki is either a way to connect yourself with the universal consciousness of everything and the divine energy that flows through and connects all things, or it's a way to um, to access and accelerate your own placebo response, which is your body's natural ability to heal itself. <laughs> Reiki is either totally cosmic or really, really plebeian. But <laughs> that's okay, because I can tell you, I've been doing this for 15 years, I learned in the year, around the year 2000, and I find that it's really reliable and predictable. Of all the systems I tried, and I tried lots, you know, I'm sure you guys have tried lots of different systems. I stuck with Reiki in the end because it works reliably and predictably. It's not a coin toss. Like, it works for me every single time I do it. Um, so, and this is the symbol that does the work. The cross, where you go, Cho Ku, is delineating the area you're about to work on, and the spiral moves the energy in. Okay, so, to start out, should just stretch and get comfortable. You can either be sitting uh, or you can be lying flat on your back, whatever is most comfortable for you. I'm gonna turn the music up just a tiny bit. Is that too loud or is that nice? It's nice. It's nice? Right, good. Okay, so first we wanna get grounded and comfortable, right? You wanna be in a position where you're in a balanced position. It can be any yoga position. It just has to be balanced. And first we're going to do Gasho, which is just our hands together in front of our heart, okay? In any position, we'll do this again and again, we take three big breaths in through the nose and out through the mouth in order to get comfortable. Let your shoulders settle, let the tension come out of your face. Now with your dominant hand, if you're right-handed, use your right, if you're left-handed, use your left. Imagine the Choku Rei drawn on top of your hand with the spiral spinning through into your other hand. Choku Rei. Each breath, each inhale. Breathe energy in through the top of your head. Imagine the top of your head opening up like a mouth and warm sunlight streaming in. Each inhale, more light flows in through your head and comes down and fills your heart. With each exhale, you direct the energy through your right hand or through your left hand into the other. Now, big inhale, and breathe light in the top of your head. Exhale it down your arm and into your heart. We'll again draw the Choku Rei. And this time, over, again over our hands, and with the spiral pointing in and going into your heart. With each exhale, you'll push the energy with as much mental strength as you can muster down your arm, and through the Choku Rei into your heart. Feeling your body, especially the top of your head, becoming very open. Very relaxed. So with every inhale, the light is just pouring in the top of your head, filling up your chest. Your hands are getting warmer. Your chest is warming up. So we're bringing in energy and we're just running a small loop, just from heart to heart. If you lose 
use the spiral, just draw the chokure again. Really try to maintain a strong visual. And when you exhale, feel that energy move down your arm and through the spiral into the heart. It's the spiral that does the work. Now start breathing a little bit deeper and slower. Take a larger breath. Feel more energy come in. And when you exhale, push more energy into your heart. I'm trying to build up heat now. You're going to get a little bit hotter. Okay, next. Once we're complete, once we're nice and warm, we're going to take our hands and move them both down to our belly. And in this stage, we're going to take all that heat that we generated and we're going to pull it all down to our bellies. Okay, so big inhale. Just relax. Three breaths here to just relax. Again, make sure your face is relaxed, your shoulders. Nice, sturdy posture. Now again, we're going to inhale and draw the chokure over our hands. Just mentally visualize the chokure over your hand. And when you exhale, the spiral goes into your belly. visualize a very gentle wheel turning in your belly. It's almost as if your hands are spinning it, but they're not moving. They're very relaxed and very connected to your belly. But there's a wheel gently turning in your belly, and it's drawing all the energy from your heart down into your belly. You can feel with every breath and every turn of that wheel that it's pulling all of the light down into your belly. Your belly is getting brighter torso and your head are cooling off. Your belly is charging up. We're not drawing energy in through the top of our head now. We're just letting all of the energy from our heart and head sink down into our bellies. So it's drawn in with every breath, bit by bit. You can feel your chest cooling off. is clear, then we'll return to Gasho with our hands in front of our hearts whenever you're ready. Okay, so there is a very, very short version of the Reiki meditation, the shortest possible version. The Gasho meditation can be done as a Buddhist meditation if you want to. You focus on the point right where your two middle fingers meet. But to me, uh, the Reiki meditation is uh, simpler than traditional meditation, you know, because you have something to do, right? You're trying to visualize the whole time you're imagining yourself all lit up, right? Just full of light, light pouring in the top of your head. Um, and that is tough because your mind will wander. Did everybody find that their minds were wandering? Or were you able to stay with it pretty well? Yeah, no? wandering, yes. So with Reiki, I, I found that the strength of the visualization was the strength of the healing, right? The degree to which I could really, really imagine all of that happening. And the way that I got better at it was that I did the same routine every night with the same soundtrack in the same location at the same time every day for about a year. You know, when I was in training, I did about a year's worth of training. A lot of Reiki stuff is like weekend retreats. I didn't do that. I did a very serious formal like year-long apprenticeship with a master. And it took me about three months to get really healed myself because I was in a bad place when I started. And it took me about a year to get good at it where I could really heal other people. I've had three major healing events happen with Reiki. Um, one was that I was super depressed, and I'm not <laughs> anymore. <laughs> that was 15 years ago, and I haven't had a serious bout of depression for 15 years. Um, yay! Yeah. yeah. And I kind of bent Reiki to my will. I have my own style that I do. You know, I use it for my own purposes. But we're still young in the history of Reiki, and so experimentation. Oh yeah, we went back to that, huh? <laughs> experimentation is where it's at.
about this handout, um, which whenever, when we're done, I can put this up on the Facebook page. I can share this on the Facebook page. Um, but I made this for my friends and my family when I first started teaching this self-healing routine. Um, and it's a breakdown. It includes just everything that you need to get going. Um, so this is, I think this is the one that we just did. Yeah, so hands over your heart, you, you breathe, you imagine sunlight, um, chokure, right? You just do the heart and then, so we did the heat up section and then we went to the belly and we did the cool down section and then drink water, <laughs> of course, at the very end, which I didn't do because we're still in this. 